In today's video, we're going to talk about my favorite hack in Blender's graph editor. I'm Luciano, and welcome to the Adventures of Lollipop Man. Welcome, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about this little hack that I think you're going to love. This is one little thing that will change your life. So, without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe, and let's go into it. This episode is sponsored by me. Use the code below to get 10% discount on any of my products. I have my scene from the Animating and Shot series, which you can find right at the top of the video. And the only reason I opened this is because it has keyframes already, and we got characters and stuff like that. So let's say I want to see my keyframes here. And what will happen is Blender does this. It shows me every single keyframe. If I select one controller, you got all of this. And if I want to filter, I can click them, but you know, like it's making one of the curves a little bit more visible, but the other keyframes are not disappearing. This is not useful. If I really want to work on one curve, I need to press shift H and hide the other ones and then press alt H and then select another one, and press shift H and that's pretty dumb. And so what we're going to do, two things. The first one is we're going to go to view and turn only selected curve keyframes, which basically when you select a channel will only show you the keyframes of that channel. So if I go there, you can see that now every curve is dimmed because no channel is selected. So if I select one channel now, I get that. And that it's already a huge improvement, right? But because I am a little bit less interested in seeing all those other curves because it's just basically visual noise to me it's much better if we also go to preferences and then turn down the f curve the unselected f curve visibility which should be the real name and that's it so now when you click any channel you get the channel there's some caveats though for instance if i select another like the head i still need to open it i still need to at least select one so i can see anything and so that's a few steps that you're going to have to live with. But once you do that in one controller, then it remembers it. So I think that's pretty fair. Like you do it once, you can, for instance, select all of them here, press plus, and then make sure that they're all selected. And so if you go one by one, now they're all selected and now they're all uncollapsed. And now that works in your favor and you can just pick the one that you want. Also, this has a small impact in performance because displaying all of the channels at the same time is going to be slow. But when you just like can filter them so easily, then because you're not showing all of them at the same time, it's not that slow. So that's a tip for today. Hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment below if you have any other sort of similar hacks that you want to talk about. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. Remember to like and subscribe and see me next time.